Hello everyone, this is Suman from Civil Unboxing channel. Today we will discuss on how we can calculate the cutting length for a regular isolated footing reinforcement reverse. As you already know, in the construction field it is very much essential to know the exact cutting length or amount of steel to be used for a isolated footings. So by this video you can easily able to understand. So you can see this is the diagram for a isolated footing who is having the depth we have taken as 400 mm and the width is taken as that is length is taken as 2500 mm and the clear cover has been mentioned here that is in 50 mm okay both side we have taken the clear cover as a uh, 50 mm the reinforcement bars that is these bars that is L shaped bars are provided with 16 mm dia at the rate of 150 mm center to center this is the plan view of the footing. The length has been already given 2500 mm along the xy direction and the width of 2000 mm has been taken into consideration along the y direction. All the reinforcement reverse are of having the 16 mm dia at 150 mm center to center spacing. The clear cover here also mentioned as 50 mm. I have made this spreadsheet for everyone so that everyone can easily understand and calculate the exact cutting length for this type of regular isolated footings. So here you can see the yellow marks have been placed where these cells can be editable. That means if you are going to increase or decrease in the depth then you could put here the as per your required value. It will calculate all those a spreadsheet format we have formulated here and you will get the exact result as per your requirement. All the yellow cells are editable and can be used as per your requirements. Suppose you are having the length of 2800 mm instead of 2500 you can easily put here and also if you having the width equals to 3000 mm then you can easily put here by that incorporated value the excel sheet will automatically calculate your all the readings and give you the exact BBS for this isolated footings. Okay, so now it is our concern to how we can understand the calculation part. So let's see step by step. So all right, the data has been taken here. That is the total length along x direction L. L is along the length, and this is about the about in x direction. So we have taken here 2,500. Okay. Now total width along y that is shorter direction length is b, b length is in b so width is equals to 2000 mm here I have taken clear cover at x direction equals to 50 mm x direction equals to 50 mm this clear covers I have mentioned here clear cover along y direction also 50 mm this clear cover has been mentioned here now clear cover at top and bottom of the footing that is here top and bottom of the footing uh, the clear cover is also mentioned here 50 mm so that value is taken into consideration next the depth of the footing is 400 mm center to center spacing at along x direction between the bars is equals to 150 mm which is discussed here and center to center distance between y direction between the reverse also 150 mm main reverse here in the shorter direction of 16 mm and distribution bar along the longer direction provided here also 16 mm so whatever the problem has been given i have incorporated all those values for our easy understanding purpose now to calculate the cutting length of this type of reinforcement steel bars first step we have to consider that effective length of lx direction that is in x direction we have to find out so the formula for taking out the effective length we have the formula here as you can see effective length is nothing but effective length equals to total length minus 2 times of clear cover ok so let's see what I have done here effective length equals to 2400 mm here I have taken the formula says that total length minus 2 times of clear cover so here total length means we have having the total length along x direction equals to 2500 mm minus 2 times of clear cover means clear cover from this direction 50 mm and clear cover from this direction 50 mm so 2 times of 50 mm clear cover has been taken 
As a result, we got 2400 mm. Similarly, effective length along y direction, we have got it as 2000 along the width wise minus 2 times f clear cover that is 50 mm and 50 mm. So, we got the value of 1900 mm. Next, in step 2, we have to calculate the numbers of bar along x direction. So, numbers of bars having the formula of effective length divided by center to center spacing between the reverse plus 1. This is the formula for evaluating the numbers of bars. So, here I have taken numbers of bar calculation formula is effective length that is 2400 millimeter divided by 150 millimeter plus 1. Here is the value plus 1. So, this comes about 17 numbers. Okay. And it can be rounded up to 17 numbers as the bars cannot be taken into fractional value so i have placed here a cell in round of format so here it is formulated as in 17 as the we got the value of 17 numbers so it taken as 17 numbers okay next we have to find out the number of bars along y direction y direction means along the shorter span so shorter span here is the formula we have taken into consideration that total length of the effective length equals to 1900 millimeter divided by 150 millimeters center to center spacing plus 1 it gives the result of 13.67 numbers and it can be taken into 14 numbers by rounding of this value 13.67 okay so the distribution bar can be required as 17 numbers and the main reinforcement can be taken as 14 numbers now the we have to find out the hook length you may puzzle that what is hook length here as you can see the this type of shape that is u shape so this portion is known as hook this portion is known as hook okay here is on hook here is on hook so that length of the bar has to be taken into consideration so hook length along x and y direction are to be calculated from total depth total depth is our put on date we have to deduct the 50 mm clear cover from the top and 50 mm clear cover from the bottom as well so 400 minus of 50 minus of 50 it gives the result of 300 millimeter so each hook length here from here to here is the dimension having the hook of 300 millimeter here also 300 millimeter okay now in the step 4 we are going to calculate the cutting length along x direction that is along the longer span we have to find out the cutting length of the rebar so the cutting length having the formula here cutting length equals to effective length plus two times of hook length minus two times of bend deduction now you may also puzzle that what is bend deduction so bend deduction is nothing but whenever the rebar has to be bent then then this portion this bending portion will elongate it easily so elongation may take place and as a result the length of the bar get increased so we have to deduct this elongated portion so that is known as bend deduction so normally for 45 degree bend we have to deduct 1d where d is the diameter of the rebar d is the diameter of the rebar and 90 degree for for 90 degree we have to consider 2d means two times of diameter of the rebar for 135 degree it's 3d for 180 degree bend we have to consider four times of d so as this rebar having the 90 degree bend that is one bend is here and one bend is here in 90 degree so we have to consider the 90 degree bend of two times of diameter 2d okay so that 2d times of bend deduction has to be subtracted so the ultimate cutting length formula gives effective length plus two times of hook length minus two times of bend deduction two times here means here bending is take place in two direction so that is two times of bend deduction had to be takes place so here the cutting length equals to effective length effective length means for along the x direction we have the effective length 2400 millimeter plus two times of hook length here is the hook length two times 300 millimeter plus 300 millimeters then minus two times of bend deduction so two times of bend deduction means two into d 
here d value is the 16 millimeter diameter of the river we are using so 2 times of d minus 2 times of d for 2 bent reduction so here it gives the value of 2.94 meters so for each rebar we have to take a 2.94 meters length of 16 millimeter diameter bar okay similarly in case of cutting length along the shorter span we have to take the same formula that is shorter span along 1900 millimeter effective length plus hook length 2 times 300 plus 300 minus 2 times of 16 mm of diameter along the shorter span so this will keep the cutting length of 2.44 meter so finally we got the main bar as well as a distribution bars cutting length so here the main rebars having the cutting length of 2.44 millimeter which is along the y direction so each rebar having the dimension of 2.44 millimeter and for distribution rebar we have the dimension of 2.94 millimeter so by this way you can give the dimension to the blacksmith 2.94 millimeters for distribution bar and 2.44 meter for main river the blacksmith can bend the bar like this and it will be placed by the levels in the construction field okay now finally we have to prepare a bar bending schedule chart for this footing so i have taken a typical bar bending schedule chart that is containing description bar shape die of the bar numbers cutting length total cutting length in meter weight kg per meter total weights and remarks okay so here you can see a bar shape of this u shaped bar which having the bottom dimension of 1900 millimeter that is an effective length and hook length equals to 300 millimeter 300 millimeter so this bar is nothing but the main bars described as main bars the die of the bar used as 16 millimeter number of bar we used and got here number of bars here the main bars we add y direction 14 numbers so that one i have placed here cutting length equals to 2.44 meter here i get and so the total cutting length can be find out by just multiplying 14 numbers of bars into 2.44 we can get the total cutting length in meter that is 34.10 meter now as we know the weight in kg per meter of 16 millimeter diameter bar having the done weight as 1.58 kg per meter length having the weight of 1.58 kg so total weight is nothing but we have to multiply 34.10 into 1.58 so we finally got 53.89 kg for min bars and for distribution bar also all the bars having the same specification that is effective length equals to 2400 hook length equals to 300 300 foot side diameter of bar having 16 millimeter number of bars that is here 17 numbers and cutting length 2.94 number total cutting length equals to just the product of 17 multiplied by 2.94 that is nothing but 49.91 meter and the unit weight we easily know 1.58 kg per meter so ultimate total weight equals to 78.87 kgs so total gross weight we have to re we have the requirement of 132.77 kgs so total weight of 132.77 kgs of steel are required for this one in this isolated footings okay so by this way you can easily calculate the cutting length as well as the total required steel quantity for a isolated footing so this is it about today uh, i think you got the clear concept regarding cutting length of isolated footing rebars so if you want this excel sheet then kindly put your email ids in the comment section i will definitely send you through the mail and see you soon in the next one thank you bye.